Good morning. Welcome to La Reunion Plant Propagation Station. I am Ravi Narayan, Agricultural Assistant 2, and this is Mr. Krishna David, Agricultural Foreman. Today we will demonstrate cocoa grafting. The production of a grafted cocoa plant. Collection of cocoa pods begins during the period December to March at La Reunion Plant Propagation Station. Pods are collected once mature. Green pods mature yellow. Purple pods mature a lighter color purple. Pods are placed in the terraces and then cracked open. The seeds are extracted. and then washed. The seeds are washed to remove, remove the white mucilaginous layer which prevents germination, after which the seeds are planted in bags filled with soil. After sowing, the seeds normally take one to two weeks to germinate. This is a germinated seedling one week old. This is a two weeks old. This is a seedling at one month old. A seedling at two months old. seedling at two and a half months old and a three month old seedling ready for grafting. Selection of cyan material. Mature cocoa trees are monitored and the cyan is selected according to the size and flushing. We use the second to last flush and the stem must be from dark brown to green. Once that is ready, we use a secretary and we cut off the entire stem with the leaves. This is immediately placed in a piece of damp cotton cloth and taken to the grafting area. Cocoa grafting. We have the rootstock ready. We have collected the cyan. We are now going to be begin the procedure. First thing we do, we sterilize our tools. We use a 98% alcohol solution and we sterilize the knife and the secretary. First step, the crown or the top of the plant of the rootstock is cut off at a height about 12 to 15 inches above the soil level. A cut is made at the center of the stem downwards for about one and a half to two inches. The cyan is shaped into a wedge with the cut side approximately one and a half to two inches. The cyan should be five to six inches in length and have at least five to six auxiliary buds present.
here we are making the wedge onto the cyan. The cyan is carefully placed into the cut in the rootstock, ensuring full cambium contact is made. The union, which we call the contact between the cyan and the rootstock, is now taped using one and a half inch wide polythene plastic strip of about 15 inches in length. It is wrapped from the base of the union upwards, covering the entire cyan. The wrap must be tight and not allow for water to enter. This is a completed, grafted cocoa plant. Two weeks after grafting, we do what is called a first release, where we remove the plastic tape partially to just above the union. This is done to allow the auxiliary buds room to grow. Two weeks after the first release of tape, we have the auxiliary buds beginning to shoot. This is the auxiliary bud growing a little more. This is at three weeks after. And this is at one month after first release of tape. Notice the flush is now prominent. The flush has now begun to harden. And this is at six weeks after grafting. This is a plant that is two months after grafting. Notice the flush has begun to branch and is now looking like a cocoa tree. This is at 10 weeks after grafting, the flush has begun to harden and it is almost ready for sale. This is at three months after grafting. Notice the union has completely sealed. It is almost not recognizable where the union has been joined. And this is at three and a half to four months after grafting, we have a cocoa plant that is ready for sale. 